Yeah. We got our panel. Well, pretty obvious, but we are gonna be working on solar on the van next. Yes. It's gonna be kinda nice to get a little bit of a break from all the pallets inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In building with earth bags, we discovered that our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be a part of our family for this week's adventure. We're thinking one of these panels up on top, and that should be plenty to run anything that we have planned for this van. Around the corner. Right here? Yeah. 53 and a half inches. So I think what the plan will be then is to put the panel a long ways right here. Mm -hmm. And then have like a little roof rack right here. And then a small ladder coming up from this side. I like that. That's going to be really cool. One of our neighbors gave me the steel sides off of his flatbed and they're gonna be perfect for building this rack. It's nice square tube and then there's actually a bunch of diamond plate on it as well, which I may use a little bit for in the front, but to start out with, I'm gonna cut up this material and make a box. Cool. Yeah, it turned out pretty clean. I'm happy with it. I was pretty worried this thing was gonna look pretty tacky. No, it looks amazing. Have you tried it up on the van yet? Um, yes, <laughs> but I'm gonna act like I haven't. <laughs> no, I haven't, honey. Oh, let's see it then. <laughs> so we got our solar panel in rough place. Okay, that fits right there. Nice. When this whole system sits on the van, I'd like the level of this top of this rack to be the same level as the solar panel, and I'd like them all to sit flat across the top of the van. That's gonna look really good. Yeah, and the solar panel being perfectly flat on the van I think is the best place to be because if you had any angle on it, if you wanted to park the van in the opposite direction of the sun, you'd have way worse production. So I think flat is the way to go. Yeah. My plan now is to take some of this littler square tube that I have um, in kind of an effort to conserve material and keep this thing lighter. I'm gonna put a bunch of bars across the bottom of the rack. That way your stuff doesn't fall through. 
I can't decide though whether to go at like four inches. That seems like about I don't right. Think you're putting anything small. Four, four inches or up five. There. I'm trying to remember. We've had racks in the past for like the roof racks. I mm -hmm. think that they're wider than four inches. I think they're like five or more. I don't know. Put these slats in, and then Ellie had the great idea of putting two more of these littler stands that I put on the corners about midway through. Ready for this genius right here? You are brilliant here. <laughs> Some of these I might have to kind of Take off the smidge. Nice and square. That one's ready. I think I got all the bars in to kind of make this a finished rack. And now I'm gonna put it up on top of the van and figure out what I'm gonna do for the mounts. It's gonna to mount to the fiberglass top there. The legs are all put on this thing. I ended up cutting a little bit of angle on all the legs too, so it kind of conforms to the top of the van. Now I'm gonna take and cut out some chunks of flat steel to make plates to weld onto the bottom of the rack. Okay, I got the little tabs welded onto the feet. So now I'm gonna throw it up on the van, mark my holes out, and I think I'm just gonna drill through through the top and then go on the inside of the van and try and suss out where 
these holes came through. I should have put mounting holes already through with studs already throughout. Now I'm gonna have to dig through all of our pallet work to try and find a way to get to these, um, the backside of these holes. So I drilled through uh, into the cabin here, and look at this, it's really cool. This one came out right here, uh, underneath this piece of trim, didn't go through the trim, which is awesome. Uh, I'm guessing that the other one should be right around that area as well. So I'm gonna pull that piece of trim down, and then work out some sort of system to mount. The really cool thing about that spot is it actually comes through one of the main bracing points of the top of the van. So there's gonna be a lot of structure there. I got all the studs pushed up through the top of the van. I'm hoping that all the mounting holes line up now. Chuck the rack up there. See if I can't get it bolted into place. Cool. It's gonna line up. I got her all the way bolted down, and it is solid up there. I mean shake the whole van out there, and I'm relatively sure it'll hold me. <laughs> I can fit up here. Oh yeah, see? Perfect. No cracking noises, so that's good. She's in. That's gonna be it for this week. We're hoping next week we can get the solar panel mounted up there and a ladder built so we can climb up into that rack. Super excited to see how that turns out. Garen is so good at fabricating and it's just looking really cool. If you missed last Friday, Bree and Jared toured a little bit more of Utah and saw some really cool places. So be sure to go back and check that out. And Shay actually got married this past weekend. So this Friday, her wedding video will be coming out. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Bye. family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. <laughs> oh look, there's a little bit of dirt in here. Oops. <laughs> oh well.